Hey guys, so welcome. Today we are actually going to be comparing some cherry scents from Bath and Body Works. So super excited to do this one because I've been loving cherry lately. Like I seriously love cherry scents lately. So we're going to talk about all of the cherry scents that I have in my collection from Bath and Body Works. And I would love to know your favorite cherry scent from Bath and Body Works as well. So go ahead and drop your favorite cherry scent from Bath and Body Works down in the comments because I would definitely love to know. Also, if you do enjoy this kind of content, like body care, fragrance type content, I would definitely love to have you take a moment and hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet because I do do a bunch of different videos. I do What's New Wednesdays, Fragrance Fridays, and then I try to toss in some other videos as well, like we're doing today with this Cherry Fragrance Mist video. So um, we are going to talk about five different cherry scents from Bath & Body Works today and kind of um, give you kind of my comparing ideas um, for these scents, like how that they differ and what notes they're strong in and all of that. So we're going to discuss these cherry fragrances and I would love if you have any input at all go ahead and put it down in the comments because I would love to know your thoughts about these cherry scents as well and we are just going to go ahead and get right into this today. All right so we have five different cherry scents to talk about. These are all from Bath and Body Works. At the end I will give you my personal ranking of these scents in order from least to favorite but um, I'm just going to be going through these randomly right now and then at the end I will give you like a ranking of which one I like the most and least and in order from there. Um, so we are just going to start with the newest one. So this new one actually gave me the idea for this video because not only do I really love Chen or cherry scents they sit really well on my skin and they just go really really well with my skin chemistry I don't know what it is just like a lot of different cherry scents just smell really good on me personally I know a lot of people have different scents like that that just perform really good on you know their skin and you know that might be different for other people but yeah cherry is definitely a high performer for like my skin chemistry and we're going to talk about this first cherry scent which kind of made me think of doing this video which is sweetheart cherry so this is like the last cherry scent that has come out from bath and body works recently and this one came out for valentine's day i kind of put it off for a while and i wasn't really in a rush to get it until there was a sale and i was able to get it before valentine's day and use it on valentine's day and i am absolutely loving this cherry fragrance i really love a lot of cherry fragrances that Bath & Body Works puts out. To me, they do not smell medicinal or anything like that, but I know, you know, certain people can have different attachments to um, things in their, like, sensory memory, you know, like if you had a lot of cherry medications as a kid, you know, you might think of cherry cough syrup or something like that. But um, personally, it does not give me like any medicinal vibes at all. This is seriously one of my favorite cherry scents. I'm not giving away my little ranking yet, but this is seriously like one of my favorites. Ever since I got this one, smelled it. It just smells so good. It is so well blended. Like the notes, you can really smell each note, but they're so well blended together that just this makes like such a great fragrance and I love cherry fragrances that are just a little bit more complex so that is why I love this one so much I think this has um pistachio in it and vanilla as well as cherry so the fragrance notes on sweetheart cherry are wild cherry crushed pistachio and whipped vanilla so yeah this is definitely a really beautiful scent. I love this one so much. At first, you really get a burst of cherry. Yeah, it's just like a really big burst of cherry at first, and then it kind of tones itself down into this like cherry pistachio vanilla type scent. This one kind of gives me like sticky ooey gooey vibes. Like it just almost smells like a dessert or something. I know it doesn't have like caramel or anything like that in it, but the 
vanilla and the cherry and the way the pistachio like blends in here just makes me think of like a really really sticky type cherry gourmand like dessert almost um but yeah i would classify this as a gourmand i know some people might not because you know it doesn't have like a cake note in it or anything like that but to me it just smells so sweet and so good it's just really a like nicely put together and blended fragrance i really really love this one and I've been using it quite a bit since I've gotten it. I just really have fallen in love with this one out of like my last purchases. I think this is like my favorite one, which is not surprising because I really do love cherry scents. And it's really funny because I really hate eating like cherry flavored things. I don't like cherry flavored things. I could do like real cherries, but as far as like cherry candy and things like that, I'm so not into cherry candy. Like I hate the taste of cherry candy, cherry medicine, all that stuff. But these cherry scents just really do really, really well on my skin chemistry. It just blends really well. And I love when they have a really well blended cherry scent because it just gives me just everything I want in this fragrance. Like the pistachio could be a slightly stronger maybe, but, but it really is really well balanced and I have been using this actually with the lotion or actually I'm using it with a body cream so it actually just makes that scent so much stronger and I'm gonna grab the body cream so just one second all right so I am back and now I do have the lotion so same fragrance notes for the lotion or this is actually the body cream so to me, the lotion actually smells a little bit more like pistachio than the actual body spray. Like the body spray smells more like cherry, like a strong cherry hit, where this does have cherry in it, but it's almost more of a pistachio cherry. Like it's not as much of a burst of cherry. But when you pair these two together, the longevity really is all day for me personally so yeah let me know what you guys think of this new sweetheart cherry scent i have seriously been loving this one this is kind of what inspired this video today so yeah let me know what you guys think of sweetheart cherry i am absolutely loving it okay so now to the next one so we are going to talk about a, another cherry scent so this cherry scent has been around quite a while so I was actually gifted this one because I wasn't even doing much like Bath and Body Works shopping or anything like that when this one came out. So this one is Sugared Cherry Crisp. So this one has been around quite a while, but it's never seemed to come back. So it sounds like a lot of people did like this one when it came out and everything, but um but yeah, we have yet to see it come back, which is unfortunate because I think a lot of people would enjoy this one and do want it back. So there are no notes on the back of this one because it is like an older bottle. So yeah, Sugar Cherry Crisp, the fragrance notes, I wrote them down over here. So the Sugar Cherry Crisp fragrance notes are bright cherry delight, crumbled graham cracker, and spun vanilla sugar. So kind of a gourmand scent since that crumble and then the cherry so it's like a cherry dessert so so it does um give you a burst of cherry so it's not as much of a burst of cherry as the sweetheart cherry so to compare that like to the sweetheart cherry this is um more of like a sugary kind of cherry that's a little bit toned down with like all that sugariness and then you get a little bit of that crumble so like a little bit of spices from that crumble almost like a little bit of buttery butteriness as well whereas like in the sweetheart cherry there was absolutely like no butteriness no like gourmand note like that the nut was like the note so this is definitely more of like a bakery type scent it actually does remind me of those pie cherries like that pie cherry filling stuff that comes in the can 
like that is the type of cherry it gives and so that is exactly basically what this is supposed to be so it smells just like that pie cherry filling and then it does have that buttery type like crumble kind of on top when this is on my skin it's a little bit more perfumey i'd say than say the sweetheart cherry like i enjoy the sweetheart cherry a lot better on my skin than the sugar cherry crisp because it just um blends really well with my skin and the sweetness and thickness in that sweetheart cherry it's just a lot more like syrupy cherry cherry um the note on the sweetheart cherry is wild cherry so it is kind of like just a very um it's a very potent type cherry and sweetheart cherry especially at first i've heard a lot of people you know say it kind of goes away after time but to me that cherry note does stick around in sweetheart cherry it's just not as prevalent as it is when you first spray it but yeah this is um a lot more toned down i'd say the cherry note in this is much more toned down and more sugary so it's like it's more of a softer fragrance i'd say than the sweetheart cherry for sure but but yeah, it's super cute packaging. I love the packaging on this one and it does smell really good. Unfortunately, since I was gifted this one, I do not have a body lotion to go with it. So, I mean, that could kind of make me like the other scents more just because I do like layering my fragrance mist with a matching body cream or lotion because it really does enhance that scent and it makes it last a lot longer so that's why i feel like it's not even fair to talk about longevity with this one because i can't really test it out properly since i do not have the uh, like cream or lotion to go with this one so it's really hard for me to say about longevity on this sugared cherry crisp because it's just you know lighter on me because i can't use the body cream or the lotion like if I had that it would probably get a lot more longevity from this and a lot more scent so like with just a spray the longevity isn't the best with this um you know but if I had the lotion or the cream I mean it could possibly last a lot longer so I just wanted to note that because this you know is the only one that I do not have a body cream or lotion to so I wanted to mention that because I do always try to pair them and that does increase the longevity so so i mean it's a decent longevity it's a lot more like a sugared cherry crisp but it pretty much smells exactly like what it's called so yeah but um but yeah i don't know for some reason it just doesn't smell as ooey and gooey as like the sweetheart cherry like that sweetheart cherry has a really like ooey gooey note in there with the cherry and the vanilla and stuff that just blends it really well whereas this is just like a very sugary cherry with that buttery bakery note okay so that one is sugared cherry crisp so now we're gonna move on to the next one so let's talk about this one right here so this one is firecracker pop and this one always comes out usually around the 4th of july so we usually see this one almost every single year i don't know what the first year that this one came out that would be probably pretty interesting if you guys know the first year that this firecracker pop one came out go ahead and let me know in the comments because i would love to know i'm not really sure how many years this has been around but i know it comes back now like every summer pretty much in new packaging so this is the packaging from last year and um it's just firecracker pop and this one does have a cherry note in it that's why i'm discussing this one today so the fragrance notes on this one are red cherry fresh citrus and juicy berry Okay, so a lot of people say this pretty much smells like those bomb pops um, that you get the red, white, and blue ones, you know, um, that you eat usually around the 4th of July or in summer. You see them like everywhere usually, but it, to me, it smells a little bit different than that. So, I mean, you kind of get that to me, but I get a lot of a like tropical punch vibe with this. Um, I don't know what it is if I'm not like i don't know but to me it smells like hawaiian punch so the cherry kind of gets blended out of this one for me like the cherry is not necessarily the first note that i think of when i smell this 
because I think of like a Hawaiian punch, which probably does have cherry in it, but it's just blended with a lot of like other fruits and stuff. So that's kind of what I get with this one. It's just like, it's just really blended in there. Like, I mean, you can get the cherry, but to me, it's just blended with like a lot of other fruits. Whereas like the back of it does say it's blended with citrus and berries. So that kind of does blend a lot of different things together and kind of makes it into like a tropical fruit punch type thing. But it kind of smells like those bomb pops, but to me, it just smells a little bit more like the tropical punch to me. So for me, firecracker pop, it's a nice scent, but it's a lot more like fruity and playful than a lot of these cherry scents that we've been talking about. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter how old you are. If you like a scent, you like a scent, but I could see this being maybe a little bit more juvenile for certain people just because it is so juicy and so um, just Hawaiian punch like. I mean, not to say that only because like a Hawaiian punch or something because I mean, it is a nice scent. I like it. But when I first did get this one, I was hoping for more of a cherry scent going on. Whereas, you know, you get the cherry scent, but again, it is blended really like with those other scent so it smells like a juice or like a blend of some sort and it is really juicy though don't get me wrong this one is definitely a very very juicy type fragrance it doesn't give me those vibes like the sticky vibes like the um the sweetheart cherry like the sweetheart cherry just gives me these sticky kind of ooey gooey cherry vibes which i really like that whereas this one gives me just like a burst of fruits kind of it's just like a just a burst almost of not just cherry, but you know, all those notes, the citrus, the berry, the cherry, you know, I don't, I can't pick out the cherry like firsthand on this. Like it's just really blended. So yeah, I usually only pull this one out more in the summer because it is such a juicy and fruity fragrance that it just doesn't perform as well in the winter months and like the cooler months. It's just, it's such a juicy, fruity fragrance. They probably will come back with this one, I'm guessing, around 4th of July again in new packaging, but we'll see. And um, it is a good scent. I just, you know, would like maybe a more of a cherry note being dominant in this. So, but I had to include this one because it is, you know, cherry. It does have a cherry note in there. Um, I mean, you can smell the cherry, but it's just very, very much blended like a punch or something. So that one is Firecracker Pop again. And I did have the lotion, or actually I have the body cream for this one. So I think it only came out in a body cream. And the same notes, of course, and this is the same year that um, the other one came out, the mist that I picked up, so last year. And it pretty much smells the same in the lotion. It's just, it's pretty much the same, but it does make it last quite a bit longer when you do use like a body cream or a lotion. It just layers it and gives you lo that longevity. And then like when you sweat and stuff, then you smell more of the lotion. You don't smell sweat. You smell, you know, your layered products. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. We're almost getting close to the end. We only have two more. So I'm going to talk about this one first. So this one came out this fall. But it's been out before. So yeah, this is a repackage. So this one is called Black Cherry Merlot. And it does have a cherry note in it, but it is significantly darker than the other cherry scents that we've talked about so far. Like the last one I talked about, the Firecracker Pop is so like fruity and juicy and like bright. It's like a bright scent. It's just so you know almost like poppy because it's so bright and um just like fruity but this is like the exact opposite so this is like your black cherry like your dark sexy cherry um those kind of vibes basically so this one is black cherry merlot this edition came out in the fall but again it has come out before in different packaging so the fragrance notes on this Black Cherry Merlot are Dark Cherry, Black Raspberry, and Merlot. So it's very dark cherry. So yeah, that's what I get is dark cherry. 
So if you think of like a dark cherry candy or a dark cherry soda or something like that, that is what I'm getting is like black cherry. So yeah, if you're familiar with any kind of black cherry type of like edible thing or scent, that is pretty much what this gives is black cherry. And honestly, I get no Merlot note in this whatsoever. Like I get no alcohol type Merlot note. I mean, it could just be adding like more of a depth to this cherry because this is a very deep, dark cherry scent. But it's funny because even though this is a very like deep, dark cherry scent, and I even do have the body cream that I have layered with it before. This cherry scent does not last as long on my skin as like any of the other cherry scents that we've talked about. And I don't know if it's just this like addition of it, like maybe in the past it came out and it was more potent or something like that, because I would think a darker like black cherry scent would definitely last longer on the skin than some of these other like fruity cherry scents. But this one just doesn't have as much longevity power to me, even with the lotion. I mean, you can smell it, but just not as much as some of these other cherry scents. I mean, this one is probably the least long lasting out of all these cherry scents, I would say, because it just is like, it dissipates really fast for some reason. And I'm not sure why that is since it is such a dark cherry scent. I would think it would last, but yeah, the cream's like not overly potent too. So that could have something to do with it because if the cream, if I'm layering it and the cream's not that fragrant, then I mean, it's not going to give me as much power as a really fragrant body cream where this does just right out of here, it smells not nearly as potent as the other creams that I have smelled that were cherry so far. Yeah, this is like a lot lighter of a cherry scent for sure. It's just really, really light, but it's dark at the same time. So it's like a dark cherry scent that just doesn't have as much longevity as the other cherry scents. Don't get me wrong though, because I do like this cherry scent. Um, Again, it does just go really well with my chemistry. Again, all cherry scents just seem to really pair well with my chemistry. And if you are more of a lover of dark cherry or black cherry, um, this would be your go-to because the other cherry scents are a lot more juicy cherry, like cherry candy or fruity cherries. Whereas this is definitely like the sexiest cherry. Like this is the darkest cherry like i could see wearing this you know on an evening date or something like that it is more like seductive and sexy although in my opinion the sweetheart cherry is like kind of sexy as well but this one yeah it's definitely a black cherry type of vibe going on so if you like more of a dark cherry you may like this quite a bit better but yeah it's quite a bit different than the other cherry scents I mean, really, we're talking about all these cherry scents and they are all quite different from each other, but they do just have that similar cherry note in, in um, common. But, you know, cherry notes, yeah, can really differ. I mean, just think about how many cherries are out there naturally and then, you know, how different scents of different cherries, you know, it's just they're all over the board. There's dark cherries, there's juicy cherries, there's fruity cherries, there's, you know, all sorts of different cherries. But yeah, this is definitely a lot darker of a scent. But yeah, unfortunately, it just doesn't last as long on my skin as some of these other cherry scents. So now we are going to move on to the last cherry scent that I have to share with you guys. And I think these are all the cherry scents that I have in my collection, but hopefully I didn't miss any. But this one is Sunset Glow. And if you guys have been watching my videos for like any length of time, um, last summer, I fell in love with this. Like I seriously love this scent. So Sunset Glow is just such a nice scent. It's so well blended. It's got that cherry note. So the fragrance notes on the Sunset Glow are Fresh Coconut, Sparkling Cherry, Seltzer, Dreamy Moonflower, and Caramelized Vanilla. 
So yeah, this is another like one that gives me those ooey gooey vibes. Like I love those kind of like sweet syrupy type fragrances that are sticky sweet. And that's kind of what this is to me, um, especially with the caramel and everything. It says it has dreamy moonflower, but honestly, I don't get like too much of a floral vibe at all in this. I definitely pick up like a lot more cherry than any kind of floral or anything like that and the caramel and the vanilla it smells so delicious yeah it's this is so good I love this scent so much I just like fell in love with this last summer and this is really what first got me into cherry scents and realizing how well they perform on my skin but yeah sunset glow to me is just on another level it just is something that is just so so good i could wear this every day probably and i do have the body cream though so it makes the longevity of this last a really long time this is another one for me that lasts a very long time so especially when i pair it with the body cream it lasts like all day long on me so i love this one and to me even though they have it like more as a summer themed um fragrance mist and set and whatnot um, to me, I feel like you could wear this any time of year, pretty much like the Sweetheart Cherry one. I think you could wear both of those any time of year. Those would cross seasons, like spring, summer, winter, or fall. You can wear that whenever. Um, and this one is just the same to me. It's a very universal type smell. It's very good though. It's so well blended, like the caramel and just everything. It just gives me a really like nice blend of these like gourmand type scents. Again, this doesn't have any kind of like buttery or bready scents in it because it doesn't, but um, I consider like things that kind of have foody scents in them gourmand as well. And since this does have like caramelized vanilla, um, cherry seltzer and all that, it's, um, it's definitely like more on a gourmand level for me. So it does also say it has fresh coconut in here as the first note, but personally that coconut is not like coming through too strong at all. Like I would think if you dislike coconut, you may still like this one, even though it does have a coconut note in it because that coconut note is really blended in this one. So it's hard to pick out. But I love the blend of this fragrance. It is so good. I hope that they bring this one back this year as well. So again, this one came out last summer and it has been out before, but this is last summer's packaging. And it's super cute too how they did the packaging on this because look, they have like a straw in here. It's kind of like a vacation type um, design, I guess. But yeah, personally, I think this could cross all seasons, but the design is cute and the little straw is cute as well in that bottle. So I do really like this one. So that is all of the scents that we talked about basically for cherry scents or that I have in my collection. So if you guys have any of your cherry scents in your collection that are different or anything, go ahead and let me know down below in the comments and definitely let me know what your favorite Bath & Body Works cherry scent is. I would love to know. And so I told you guys I would do like a ranking of these as well. So um, I'm going to quickly do that. So my least favorite, okay, so least favorite I have to say is sadly the Firecracker Pop. So in last place, number five comes in Firecracker Pop because it's just so juicy, so fruity that I think that this is limited more to summer. Like I really only like to wear this one in summer. Plus the cherry scent kind of gets overrided by all those citrus and berry scents. So that is why this is coming in at number five, last place for my ranking of these cherry scents. So second to the last place has to be, you guys already know it, it's Black Cherry Merlot. Okay, so you guys probably already guessed it because it doesn't have the greatest longevity on my skin but it came in second to last, I would say, because this one is 
different. It's got like the black cherry scent. You can still pick out that cherry scent and it is a different kind of cherry scent. It's that black cherry. So it's very different. And, um, you know, I still do like this one. I like the scent of this one probably better than a firecracker pop, even though the longevity of this isn't the greatest. But yeah, it smells really good still. It's a really nice cherry scent. You can definitely smell the cherry in this. I think I put Firecracker Pop in last place because that cherry really just gets blended out of that scent. So yeah, the cherry is really prominent in the scent, but it is a black cherry and it's not the most long lasting. So that's why it's second to the last in my ranking. Okay, so next we're in third place. So in third place, I'm gonna put sugared cherry crisp and you know one of the reasons why this might be taking third place is because i do not have a body cream or lotion to go with it so i do want to mention that because if i had a body cream or lotion to go with this one i could definitely see liking this one quite a bit better but without that it just doesn't last as long so it's really difficult to appreciate this one as much as it should be since I don't have like the layering combo with this one but it's still a really really good scent I love that cherry filling smell in this those like pie filling cherry scents it smells so delicious it's still kind of got like a little bit of an ooey gooey cherry but it's mixed in with that butteriness but yeah number three is sugared cherry crisp then I'm <laughs> Okay, so number one and two, I can't decide. I can't decide yet, so I'm going to put both of them as like number one and two. So number one and two is Sweetheart Cherry and Sunset Glow. And I cannot decide between these because I think they are both really, really nice cherry scents. They're very, very well blended. You can pick out like the fragrance notes in them. The cherry does not get overrided. It definitely stands out in these fragrances. And it's a really nice like juicy cherry that's like sticky and ooey gooey in both of these to me. So that's why I really like these scents. Like I cannot seriously pick a a favorite. I can't pick a favorite. So, I mean, the cherry's a little bit deeper on the sweetheart cherry, I would say. The sunset glow, the cherry's a little bit more blended in. So, I mean, if you're looking for more of a straight cherry scent, you'd probably go with the sweetheart cherry rather than the sunset glow. So, but personally, I just love both of these fragrances so much. I think that they are very well blended. They smell good on my skin. They last all day when you combine them with like a body cream or lotion. So that is why I cannot decide which one is number one or two. So um, yeah, that is it. That's my ranking. And I would love, again, if you go ahead and put your favorite cherry scent from Bath and Body Works down in the comments. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Also, if you do like content like this, I would definitely love to have you go ahead and take a moment and hit that subscribe button because I do videos like this. I do Fragrance Friday videos. I do What's New Wednesday videos, and I would love to have you as a subscriber. So if you are not already, go ahead and take a moment and hit that subscribe button. And I love you guys so much. I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you in the next video.